this is the real Tom Rose. And uh, I think part of the key to answering this question correctly is actually just drawing a really good picture. So what they're saying is you stand at the foot of a mountain and it's 45 degrees to the peak. So we're looking, basically we're at one corner of a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And then if you go 50 feet further away, you end up at a 30 degree angle. And that distance there is 50. Now, if you plug in the ratios of these sides, so on the 45, 45, 90, the ratio of sides is one to one. It's a nice house loose triangle. On a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the ratio is one to, let me show this in a different color. Don't get confused. One to root three. So this small side here, the 50 feet, right? If I just do the 50 feet by itself, the ratio of that side would be the root three, which is the entire base of this triangle, minus the one that you that you are you were already away from the base of that mountain. So you have um, this will be root three minus one. Again, that's the big the big amount minus the one that we have right here is root three minus one. So what I'm going to do now is set up a ratio. So I'm going to say. Let's, let's set up the ratio in real terms. So the 50, the ratio of the 50 to the height, which is um, in real terms, let's call that x. Right, that's the thing we wanna know. Um, so the ratio of 50 to the real height is equal to, and now let's use the, uh, the ratio lengths, the root three minus one over one. So if you solve this for x, you're going to get 50 over root 3 minus 1, which is a sort of a non-standard way of solving for this because it has a radical denominator. But um, answer choice C uh, does in fact match that.